This is Mitchell from Gamefront here with a general overview of the newly released team-based first-person shooter, Brink. This video is meant to give players an overall look of what to expect when they first pop Brink into their disk drive. The first thing you want to do is select your alignment. If you choose to save the Ark, you'll be cast as a member of the security forces. If you choose to escape the Ark, you'll be cast as a member of the resistance. Next, you're going to make your character. At the start, you won't be able to customize much more than your character's face, tattoos, and hairstyle. But this will all change as you start to accumulate EXP from playing matches. You'll also default to the medium body type, which means that you'll be able to wield assault rifles, jump to high ledges, and vault over small walls, but you won't be as durable as a large body type, nor as agile as a light body type. One other thing you'll want to get ready before you start shooting people in the face is your preferred starting class. When you're starting out, the differences between the classes matter more to the success of the mission than they do the success of the individual. Certain mission objectives can only be handled by members of a certain class. So, for example, if the mission demands that your team hack a terminal, someone is going to have to play as an operative, or your team won't be able to advance. If the opposing team plants a bomb, you're going to need an engineer to disarm it. As you progress, you'll be able to unlock more abilities for each class, including the ability to lay down turrets as an engineer, use flashbangs as a soldier, play sticky bombs as an operative, or resupply allies as a medic. You can also unlock attachments to your guns by playing through the game's challenge levels. Each level has three difficulties indicated by their star level, with each star level having its own rewards to offer by completing it. Now let's finally jump into a round and see how a typical level of Brink plays out. So this is the first level and I'll be playing on the side of the security forces. The first thing to notice here is the command post. This is what you'll use in a round to switch classes and change your weapon. You can capture other command posts in the level to grant your whole team some sort of buff. Your objective wheel, used by holding up on the d-pad, can be used to choose an objective for the level. Your primary objective is always listed at the top. I switched to my lightweight character so you'll notice that I'm very agile compared to the other weights. However, I can only use submachine guns and pistols and can't take as much damage as the others. This is the last weight class you unlock, likely because it's the most advanced. So our first objective here is to destroy a door. Since I'm a soldier, it means it's my job to plant the bomb. And since I'm a lightweight, I generally want to let the bigger guys on my team soak up the damage and either attack from the back or try to find a way to flank and get behind them. As a soldier, I also have access to a Molotov cocktail, which is essentially a grenade that explodes a new time. Now obviously I'm playing against bots here, but Brink's entire single player campaign is also a multiplayer campaign so the enemies you'll be facing will most likely be other players with opposing objectives. If the resistance manages to hold the door and time expires, it's their victory. Otherwise, the level progresses to the second round, which in this case involves hostage escorting. In these hostage type of levels, the medic is given time to shine, since only the medic can revive the fallen hostage. Standing near the hostage will cause it to move slowly along its path to the eventual exit. A lightweight actually probably isn't the most ideal character build to have here, but unfortunately you can't change the body type mid-game, only class. Once the security reaches the end of the level with the hostage in tow, it'll be a victory for the security forces. Thanks for watching our Brink General Overview video, and be on the lookout for more in-depth looks into the character classes coming up in the near future. Excellent work, men. We freed the hostage and secured the site. Now we have terrorist prisoners to interrogate. We may be able to nip this insurgency in the bud.